Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com So this week I'm doing a theme, the theme of love So you're going to be seeing three projects Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday All ready for Valentine's Day So here's one of them It's super simple As you can see There's only one, well two lots of stamping In the background and in the foreground With the puzzle piece and just a little bit of card and some gems just to top it all off. Shall we get started? The stamp sets we're going to be using is Love You To Pieces. And we're going to use this heart, which is uh, You Are My Missing Piece. As well as It Be Incredible Like You, just for this little line accent. So let's move them out the way. And move the card over. So as I said, I'm going to be starting with a standard C6 size card. And that's just in Whisper White Thick. And I'm going to bring in a mat of Whisper White. And that's just regular Whisper White. And that's where we're going to be doing all our stamping. So before I get that glued down, I'm going to bring in some Blushing Bride ink. As well as that line stamp from Incredible Like You. And I'm just going to ink it up. And towards the top centre, I'm just going to stamp that down. Like so. So at the moment it does look a little bit muddy. However, it does dry to that dusty pink effect you can see there. So now that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere that down with our snail. Just onto our card base like so and then I've also got a piece of basic black cardstock and this is just a centimetre wide um, it's not wide this way is a centimetre and it is seven centimetres long So I'm just going to bring in some scissors. I seem to have misplaced my paper snips. I'm going to use my cheap scissors. And I'm just going to fishtail the ends like so. All this does is give it a slightly different... Well, just to accent really the heart, the main centrepiece, which is the heart, as well as the sentiment. So, as always, I've already pre... Ooh, all these little bits. Pre... What's the word? Embossed uh, the sentiment into Whisper White. And already die-cut that out using the coordinating dies. Like so. And as you can see, I'm just going to reassemble them. And pop them back together. But I'm going to raise it up onto a glue dot. So... These two pieces, if you just line up on the back, get them sitting snug, and then you can use the dimensional just to hold it in place. And again, I'm going to use this one, like so. And then dimensionals will just hold it together. Like so. This one I'm not going to secure in place because I'm going to pop that up on two dimensionals just to give it some more depth. And this will sit on there a little bit later on. So two dimensionals popped on the back and on top like that. So let's quickly adhere this down to our card. So again just using some snail. I'm just going to pop that on there like so. And then taking the dimensionals off the back of the heart, you can see that I can just pop that down like so. And then this last piece, I'm just going to line up and pop that down like so. 
So you can mess with it slightly just so you can line it up like that. And then you can bring in your little rhinestones. And I'm going to just use my fingers to pick these off. And just place them as and where you see fit. So I'm just going to keep it with three because art numbers are appealing. And there you have today's card. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Super quick and easy. Why not, while you're here, pop into the description bar below where you can see a list of all the products used. As well as links to my online shop where you can purchase them. While you're there, like, comment and subscribe, as well as share to your social media so everybody can see how quick and easy it is to make such a pretty card. I will see you around. Bye guys.